problem was being solved. So here we are. As leaders, what do we do? Honorable Speaker, we must separate the issues without emotions, and these issues are doable. Honorable Speaker, we are speaking of desks. For heaven's sake, how can we abandon a curriculum because of desks? I think I want to call the Committee on Education to order and ask the Committee on Education to, ba to ban midnight oil, identify these simple issues, and give recommendation to the Ministry and this House speak in one voice that these students can sit on the desk they sat before they joined junior secondary. We are debating here that we abandon a system because of uniform. I cannot be convinced on such a FIMSE statement. It is an understatement to say that we abandon a curriculum because the children cannot afford the uniform. Honorable Speaker, we agree. We are suffering. We have economic hardship, not only in Kenya, but globally. We are, we are, we are, we are having and we are facing climate change which is bringing hunger, not only in Kenya, but globally. All these challenges are faced by everyone in the whole world. So, as Kenya, we have to show leadership as a house. If it is a matter of uniform, the Committee on Education can make a statement and say that these children shall continue using the uniform they wore before. What we need here, and what this house should be debating, is about allocation of funds. And Madam Speaker, cost-benefit analysis can be done now, aimed at seeing how much money we need. We only need the human resource. And infrastructure can still be used as it was for the time being. If the Committee on Education can recommend that we need 200,000 teachers, and this is the amount we need, I think the government can see how better we can do it. I want to support the motion saying it is good because we need to brainstorm, but I want to oppose that we abandon this system, and I want to say that we move on with this system because this is a system that has been tried before, and we all know the benefit of equipping students with this kind of a system. The time is too short, but I urge the House, let's debate positively without emotions, finding solutions, offering solutions, instead of lamenting. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Member for Lugari, Honorable Nabi. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I want to add my voice and associate myself with the sentiments of the gracious lady who has just spoken before me. I want to associate myself with the sentiments of Honorable Miremba. I want to associate myself with the sentiments of the Chairman of the Education Committee. Madam Speaker, Professor Malinowski, a known anthropologist who studied systems, had this to say that the fear for change is the ultimate excuse of lazy people who want to maintain the comfort zone. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Ian Darwin, in his book, Living with Change, had this to say, that as much as we fear change, it is the only pathway to a new order. My good people, members of the National Assembly, we cannot pastoralize CBC simply because we are facing challenges in implementation. Madam Speaker, I was in the 763 system. When they started implementing 844, I can tell you it was chaos. But it was the zeal and will of many.
men and women who made the policy, the people who 